So yeah, we're back at it again at the Inferno. We're hoping today we can get that Jad achievement and I've just got to not sprint in front of the shield. It's not that difficult. All right, does that can be my dudes. 15 damage? That's it? What? What? I thought that'd be way cooler. All right, Shiba Jad's down. On to the old Zucky boy. Please don't throw this time, man. Please don't throw. We've got to get keep Jad alive, though. That's all I've got to do. Is not throw. All I've got to do is not throw. We got this, right? Oh, my God. That's it, I think. Yes! Oh my god, it's done! Jesus freaking Christ, let's go. Oh, that feels good to get done. Right, Jad alive and 5kc. It's a double GM task. And oh my god, about freaking time, honestly. God. Oh, I am happy about that. Oh, that was an annoying one to get though. I can't believe I lost it yesterday at 15 health. But uh, yeah, double GM plus 12. So our remaining achievements. We must do, well, the 50 HP thing. We need to do uh, no magic spells and also melee only and then a bit of speed. And look at that. Sweet, sweet freedom from a hide to task. We do need another one though because I still don't have the claw, unfortunately. But we can finally do a task that is not Hydra or Zuck, I suppose. Wow, that was a really, really fast Insanzio. Still got three rows left. That's actually crazy. Couple at this time, but um, okay, good. Toa, everybody, yeah. Man, three nine five that time. Unfortunately, no purple. Oh, <gasps> I got the pet. What? <sighs> Right, okay, well, that's cool. Um, dude, I, what is it with me and getting pets? I feel like I get them all the time. What is going on? So I guess now we've got to try and get the transmogs, don't we? And like turn them into all the other bits, because, oh, wow. Oh, wow, like, that's so cool. Point is get the, uh, the Kefri, the Zebek, and the Akia pet transmogs. Oh, and the Woodens ones, which I think is doing like 450 and then not dying or something like that. So yeah, if you do a level 450 invo on a level 4 boss with all its invocations active, you get some overrides, and we got the Baba one when we did the 500, so use that on this guy. Congratulations, you've unlocked a new metamorphosis option for your pet, so now we can metamorphize it. Oh, Babby, oh, it's so cute. No, as a little babby pet, isn't he adorable? Meow. Look at him go. See, so yeah, we'll have to get the other ones at some point. That's uh, that's pretty cool. That that's really cool, actually. Oh, he's a monster! Wait, he zooms. If you pick him up and drop him, he goes so fast. Wow, that's a nice little feature slash bug. But shh, don't tell Jackass guys. Don't tell. Eight of them. I don't really know how, but somehow. We have eight. So it's going quite well, to be honest. I don't know how I've got this many. I really don't. Almost 200 KC experts. We've got the uh, mask and the shadow to go. But yeah, being on the board for the pet is, oh. Yeah, I, I've, I'm quite chuffed with that, honestly. I'm very, very chuffed. So that's really cool. Well, guys, little milestone kill there. 1,750 Hydra and, um, yeah, missing two drops, of course, the pet and the claw. Is it soon? Who knows? Well, 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 look at that. It's a new day for me, and 92 mining is obtained. We can now do amethyst without the need of boosting. We can use the celestial ring for the uh, plus four mining boost. Essentially, 96 mining uh, with an invisible boost. So, amethyst should be, hopefully, a little bit faster to acquire now for my arrow tips. Okay, not gonna lie, every time I see a big golden beam, 
I do get a little bit like a little bit hot, hot drop because like we're around the time of a vestige, but it's not this one. But look at that giant beam. Thank you. Okay, so today we're going to try another combat achievement, which is kill Zuck without using any magic spells at all. We have an SGS for some healing and chins for the nibblers. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Well, that's how Zuck does go over. <laughs> oh no. Hundred and twenty Chali on Vard. Oh my god, what an absolute monstrous hit. What the hell? So guys, yesterday we managed to get the TOA pet, and today it is time to hopefully get some transmogs for it, which are very tricky, but we're gonna try our best. Essentially what you have to do is have all the invocations on for that particular boss and have it be level 450. Uh, so we've got all the Kefi ones on there, and if we do that at level four, we don't die. We get it. So yeah, obviously some of these invos are pretty hard, and with it being 450 as well, and with the boss having to be level 4, there's a lot going on, so it's pretty tricky. But uh, we're going to try our best, me and Smobile's here, and hopefully, yeah, hopefully we win. Alright, there we go, so that is a Zebak down. Uh, it took, yeah, like 5 minutes, because it's, uh, it's a very high raid level, and a very high uh, mob specific level as well. Um, so off we go. Wait, what? <gasps> wait, wait, no, wait, what? <laughs> okay, just straight back and forth, fair enough. There's six memories in there, it's kind of... <gasps> oh, live, 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 live. Mining, mining. Mm. Uh-oh. <laughs> The pickaxe, forget it. Maybe we'll still get it though. Look at that. We're just too good. Too talented. We still got the door. <laughs> you end for the lions. They do, they do. But uh, let's try this one again. Boss number three right now. Good, good, good. Made it past Aka. That's probably the scariest one. So now it's on to Kefri, who is level. Oh god, level six. So uh, lots of HP on this guy. Oh, what the. Oh, that can't be good. Oh, how did you end up in there? Oh, no. That's not great. Um, hmm. Mm hmm. I mean, one more dung he gets to escape, right? But I guess it depends. Oh, God, if he gets pushed into my way, I really hope he doesn't. I really hope he doesn't. That would be really bad. Uh oh. It appears we have lost mobiles. It might be a bit doomed. It might be a little bit doomed. <laughs> Lisa doesn't get pushed this way. He's out! He's out! He is out of here. Good. Right, so we are still alive at least, so that's something. Can we deal with this? Oh no. Ooh, that might hurt the plan a little bit. Yes. Ooh, okay, good. I got out. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. Scary times, but we escaped. Just slightly perished. So, uh, yeah. Chance of kill. I've got one Sanji dose, and it's medic, and it's level four, and I think it's doomed. <laughs> the GGs. There we go. One little cheeky challenge mode right there. It's a PB, apparently. Might also be my first 4 1, I'm not sure, but oh, I've got a Torn Press, got about 200 irits. Wow, that's a lot. Well, that was really close, but we just barely, just barely got a, a 2 plus 1 duo there. Uh, no jobs, of course, but uh, Dwarf Weeds and Death Runes. They do a nice little crisscross method here for the um, Ice Demon. They're very simple, actually, uh, but it'll prevent you from taking any damage whatsoever, and it's really quite easy. There we go, Olm is dead, and it is a PB. Wait, it's, wait, what's that? Oh, wait, I got a Dex! <laughs> it's a purple and a Dex, okay, well, that's kind of cool. It's a challenge mode drop, I suppose. 16 mil apparently is the value. Um, cool. Cool, cool, cool. A little bit of a Dexy. So yeah, first purple in a while. <laughs> that's quite nice, I guess. 
so yeah, current job blog looks a little bit like this. Um, three, three Texas, four Arcanes, two Claws, and one Dins in. Honestly, not a lot of KC. I did the thing, woo! I did the trick where you like skip through the the, the tendrils. All right, another kill coming in. Good luck. That is ah, uh, J called Kodai. Unfortunately, looks like no jobs for anyone there. But thank for the raids, guys. That'll be my last for now. Oh, look at that! Whip number twenty-one from Ever Stream is there, and only nine thousand kills. Honestly, we're so lucky on these. I should have nowhere near this many. We're very, very lucky. Well, how about that? It's another whip. Apparently, <laughs> said two whips and one task. Not bad. It's number twenty-two. So, uh, put those next to each other and they're quite happy. So, there we have it. Another wonderful day of stuff and things. Did quite well, I would say. And, um, yeah, I'll have to try the Zuck task again at some point. Very happy to get the Jad one, of course. Um, but yeah, I really want to try and get this, uh, this Nibbler Chase one. It's really difficult. Um, not because it's, like, extra hard or anything. It's because muscle memory is completely different. Like, I'm used to doing each wave, you know, hover the ice barrage, like, target it, and then, you know, go, go, go. But it, it's different. So I have to get that back, and hopefully we'll be able to get the Vardorvis uh, Vestige as well for the big uh, Ujima flip. The um, Altor Vestige should be any time now, unless we go horrendously dry. So looking forward to getting that, and then moving on to Duke and Leviathan for the remaining Axe pieces. Oh, and uh, Whisperer, of course, as well. Yeah, that is it for me, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. I will uh, click some amethyst. So I will uh, see you again in the future. Take care, farewell, and goodbye for now.